Hey everybody, this is Ardoom, and welcome back to another exciting episode of a Let's Play Darkest Dungeon, The Crimson Court, and we are fresh out of invitations, which is something I forgot in the last episode, which means that sadly I will not be going back into the courtyard immediately. Instead, we'll be looking to level out some lobbies, and again, when I say lobbies, they aren't that low. We have a level 3, level 4, level 4, and a level 3 as well, which would all use a bit of experience uh, looking at equipping... Uh, torch based items like sun rings and sun cloaks and camouflage cloaks uh, it's just a short mission we should be able to get through this relatively quickly um, have had a fan request as well um, and as always guys love it when you guys comment on stuff uh, Antonio Aoli has asked for sorry a Aolo Aolo I'm sorry I shouldn't have called you Aoli that's that's a delicious sauce um, has asked to be a grave robber which I can definitely do all I have right now is a fairly low-level uh, player, Newville, but I will be dragging her along on some higher-level quests. So what I will do is rename her your favorite name, DH Dragon. Let's clean that up right now. D-H-D-R-A-G-O-N. Still plenty of guys left as well on the roster, so if you want to be named on this playthrough, feel free to drop me a say-so in the comments. Um, but let's provision up and get in. No one is currently rocking any bleeds whatsoever, so we should be fine not to have to worry. Sorry, any curse. So we should be fine not to have to worry about uh, blood as an issue. And again, we are running a little bit low because we did have to... Th well, actually, well, we, we just used up a lot last mission because we took out four cursed people and they got thirsty. In the meantime, what I will do is probably do a quick check of the old cheat sheet for the Warrens and plan out what I'm going to bring along. Obviously, we're going to bring in some food and some torches. It's a short run. Not going to really need much in the way of anti-venom in the Warrens. But what I will do is bring along uh, probably four medicinal herbs, two bandages, and I think that should be it. I could bring some holy water as well. We'll just bring the one. And uh, yeah, not expect to have two full inventory as we get into this dungeon. Let's press on. Now, while things are loading, I just want to stop as always, and thank you guys very much for tuning in. I have a lot of fun playing this game. I really, really, really enjoy making these videos, and it's great having company along for the ride. So, um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, uh, check out the playlist. There's a link in the description below uh, so you can figure out how we've gotten to this misbegotten place. Um, and for all of my subscribers, hey, thanks for stopping by and welcome a back. War against the swine. We hmm. must first scout their squalid homes. This is literally the definition of the worst possible dungeon layout, but that's okay. We'll go down the short route, double back, and go back the long way subsequently. And let's keep our eyes open, and that holy water is going to become useful instantly. Nice. Right, small amount of food, small amount of gold. Right, like, made back my money. Ooh, that bleed's annoying, but I'm gonna just endure it. Torch up and then press on. No scouting, unfortunately, so it's just gonna be a bit of a surprise mystery crapshoot. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that Shambler altar alone. I've learned my lesson now on Shambler hunting. Uh, as you guys may have seen a few episodes back, let's torch up and press on into the room. Okay, large corpse eater, a swinator, and we have the element of surprise, which is just fine by me. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh. You have your mark ability. You do not have that equipped, unfortunately, just a damage debuff. That's fine. Look, let's do a quick check to see who has a weak bleed resistance. That's actually not too bad on the swinator. Uh, what's your damage potential? Three. It's nine damage plus one, ten damage versus... 11 damage is a maximum. Um, uh, let's just start things off with a collect bounty on the Corpse Heater. I'll probably focus on him because the Leper doesn't have any back row attacks, so it makes sense for us to do that. What I will do, though, is try for a stun. No way in hell that's going to work, so instead we'll drop a Noxious... Bl no, wow! We have nothing that can work. Let's, let's try for a Blight in the back row. Let's try for it, and it takes, which is none too shabby at all. I'm okay with the health he's currently rocking. What I will just do is do a damage debuff on the Corpse Eater if I can. And unfortunately that does not take. Said so we can still chop the old fashioned way and that Corpse Eater is down to 10 life which is fine by me. Two damage taken and uh, that debuff is going to be a problem uh, but we'll survive. Seven damage taken and we can always self heal him but that move is nasty especially with that stun on top. Very regrettable in the grand scheme of things, very regrettable. Chance of some of this guy isn't actually too shabby, so we'll probably take it. Or we could try and put another blight down on this chappy. 
Uh, it was kind of a fluke that it worked last time. Uh, let's try for a stun. Just try and deny them a turn if we can. Great, that took, and that is so, so worth it. Let's um, use finish him, because he's stunned, and that will do some sweet damage. All right, one guy is taken out. And let's drop a self-heal on the... Wow, that's a critical, and it's only four? It's amazing. Well, at least there's no bleed. Pretty, pretty sketchy heals there. Uh, five damage taken, and uh, we are out of action again for a turn, which is a regret. Uh, what I will do, though, is try and get some more blight going on on this Wanator. Yep, that's taken, and he's rocking some pretty nice damage over time, to be honest. Let's uh, just start doing some good old-fashioned country damage. And uh, nothing to do but move forward with that leper. Unfortunately, no move abilities there to help him out. Try retreat. That's fine, fine, finally fine. Let's keep our eyes open and keep getting damage done where we can. Only six, because it's a bit of a weaker strike there. What we'll do is probably try for another Blight if we can. There we go. Nice. Unfortunately, didn't take that time. I was just getting greedy, and that's completely fine. I will probably heal on the Occultist just to play the, the long game, but unfortunately, we picked up Bleeds. So we're only one hit point ahead. Crit for 22. That is nasty. That is nasty, and we have a brand new heal target, unfortunately. Let's get a chop going to try and take out the Swinator as quickly as possible. He has one hit point left. What I will do, though, because that bleed is a concern for me, is I will heal up the Occultist just to top him off. And, uh, yeah, the Bounty Hunter is a source of concern for me. Okay, crunching backhand, that's fine. 13 and 9, wow. Some pretty, like, hefty damage that we're taking right now. Um... Uh, despite the fact that my HP is going to be relatively low, I'm just going to try and finish things off now because I'm not sure I can sustain faffing against that Swanator. That all said, though, it's a great haul. Just realized as well that I forgot to bring a key along, which is, uh... And a shovel. Oh my god, I packed so badly. I packed so badly. Alright, let's check this strong box, and hopefully there's a key or a shovel. No, just more gems. Damn. Alright, I have... Mmm. I did not pack properly. I can't believe I forgot both keys and shovels, but particularly shovels. That's just redonkulous. Um, Alright. Battle here. Cutthroat, cutthroat, and a fusilier. Uh, I think it's going to be prudent for us to focus on one of these two cutthroats. Let's get that started. Ten damage taken, and the leper can finish them off without any trouble. What I will need to do is focus on healing early on, so let's... Beautiful crit for 30. That's Those are the kind of heals we want to be seeing more of if we can help it. Uh, blanket fire goes down. And it's just a debuff rather than a damage. Uh, looking at our options, this guy's got seven life left. Chance for a kill with that blight, or I can try and stun him. Let's try for the blight. One damage, it's not going to be enough to get a kill in. Uh, uppercut slice goes down. The occultist, three damage taken, and uh, no move, fortunately. And uh, with Hugh, we can get the best spread of damage possible. One's dead, and the other is gravely wounded. Uh, what I will do to try and help myself out is actually, you know what? I'm going to get started on some minor heals. Let's buff that occultist. It's a sweet, sweet crit for six. Nicely done, and uh, yeah, I'll probably try and drop a weird reconstruction right here on the Plague Doctor as well, and he's nicely topped up. Aside from the bleed, we can do something about that shortly. Everyone dodges, which is exactly what we want. Let's take out that cutthroat before he's a chance to take a turn. And we're looking just a little bit better than we were a few moments ago. Uh, done. Success so clearly in view. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to take that hit uh, on stress, which is regrettable. But again, as long as we keep their stress levels low, uh, we should be just fine. Again, it's the 90% uh, of... Oh, hunger check. That's fine by me. Have enough, have enough. We are good, good, good to go uh, to keep our map open, and we should be fine. No new traps laid in for us to worry about. Have a curio there, but it's a Shambler Altar, which we can ignore, because Shambler Altars only bring pain and death and light, horror, sanguination, you know, uh, eldritch, terror, all the words, all the darkest dungeon words, and we do have some combat coming up. Should be relatively low level, though, given where it is. And, yeah, two corpse eaters and a swine spawn. See, our focus should be relatively clear on that swine spawn. Sweet critical hit there, and that worked an absolute treat. Um, 
light resist on these guys is absurd, so what we'll do instead is heal up the Occultist by a little bit. Uh, again, it's worth more for me than a wasted turn. Probably try and get a strike in on this. Oh, that's a beautiful critical hit, and stress be gone for sure. Munch goes down the Plague Doctor. She dodges like an absolute champ, and it's time for us to wrap things up. Nicely done. All right. That worked out quite nicely. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. All right, no scouting yet, but we can press on regardless. Let's just keep our infantry open in case we have to run and interrupt. Uh, no, we're all good. Another hunger check, which means we're down to our last bit of food and a trap, which is sadly not avoided and adds a great deal of stress. But no bleed. Oh, whoa, betide our poor plague doctor. Woe betide her. Oh god, more. It's, I, I feel really... I feel really silly for, um... For not bringing any shovels. Like, it's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I feel, um... A bit foolish. Again, I, I had a break for a couple of days from playing the game. Just because I was busy with some life stuff. And, uh... I've clearly... Uh, gotten rusty. To be honest. Like, I've, I've lost some of my knack. That's regrettable. Some heirlooms, what do we have? A couple of, yeah, portraits, it's fine. 70, 70, 100%. Let's take the 100% if we can. Yeah, Plague Doctor is probably going to be spending a little bit of time back in the hamlet. Oh, hunger check already. It's a worry. That is a worry. Okay, well, I think I should be fine for one more corridor, one more room, and that's going to be map. This one hasn't been immensely profitable, but we will get the XP from it, and that's just fine. All right, a little bit of food. Not that it's going to be quite enough. And we have a battle right here, two conscripts and a corpse eater. And surprise, we should be able to take care of this very, very easily. Noxious Blast, really good chance on one of these conscripts. Let's take it. Nice, that damage is dealt. Let's go for a uh, position three kill if we can. Sweet critical there. Absolutely sweet critical there. And uh, Sacrificial Stab right here. Not quite enough to kill, but I think with a hue, we should be dandy. Nice. Right, but a small change there. We're still in a good situation. Likewise, we have this room to clear and we are done. The question is, do we get any scouting? This could be just me being greedy. Look, let's get out of here before it becomes a problem. All right. Short one. It was short. Sometimes episodes are short. Hopefully, uh, this takes care of its its own damage. Uh, a decent haul of gold for a scout mission um, with uh, 11,000 in gold. Uh, 10 crests and 2 portraits. Uh, no one levels up, but we're all getting there slowly, slowly. Skilled Gambler is quite nice. Komin has picked up Tough, which is fine by me. And again, he has quite a few negative quirks I want to be able to take care of at some stage. And then Gufard is a Warren's tactician, but is rocking some fairly high stress. Again, no concerns there. Time. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. DHD, sorry, DH Dragon is no longer manic for money. Uh, Bonnell has had his slow reflexes cured. And uh, Dornger is thirsting for blood. Nico has controlled his urges for the moment, and everyone else is just fine. Let's do a quick run through the Hamlet to see what we should or can be doing. Now, from memory, Komen was rocking some just insane things. Like, that clumsy... I need to take care of clumsy. Like, that's just unacceptable. Uh, that's definitely mission critical, so let's take care of that. Uh, Gufard is fine. Who's a low-level person with some things I can cure? Because I'm going to be taking high-level guys in next. Uh, DH Dragon, miss the spot. I want to correct your critical chance because I'm going to need to level you up at some stage. Um, hmm. Negative two speed of torches above 75. That's rubbish. Okay, well, that's, that doesn't match with my playstyle, so we'll take care of that as well. Nocturnal, be gone. All right, and that's all of our sanitarium base work done. No one has any diseases, and uh, no one has any upgrades to make either. So we're kind of just fine to call time on this one, unfortunately. Again, we do have a redundant uh, eye patch for a man-at-arms now, I think. Nope, okay, it's our first one. That's fine. All right, well, yeah, it's... That's all we can do now. I think next episode we have to just keep going through the Warrens and, you know, trying to find some decent bloodsuckers to kill for invitations. Antis' Lantern. Ooh, that's... That's attractive. Um, that is attractive. What the hell is that? Oh, that's actually quite useful. Um, 
Lucky Talisman. Ooh, that's a good one as well. Um, what I'm really looking for at this stage is going to be crests for district upgrades. Hmm. I'll have to make some decisions. I'll have to make some decisions. In any case, thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name has been Ardoom. Hope you've had fun watching this. If you have, hit that like button, drop me a comment, let me know how you're feeling about things. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well and catch up on the playlist. And for returning subscribers, thank you for stopping by. As always, I will catch you guys next time.